Halloween. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. Yes indeed. How is everybody doing today? It is heck hot here in Arizona. Um, it's very white gray outside because we had a dust storm and that dust is still in the air so it looks really odd out there when you go out there because there's no blue sky. It's white gray and uh, it's kind of hazy looking. Anyway, how is everybody doing on the jump start? Your weight loss for July plan. You guys, today is a 16 hour fast or eight hour eating window. Eat two meals please and take a walk. Don't forget, we have a do's and don'ts list. And for number one, during fasting, it's a true uh, liquid fast with black coffee, black or green tea, Water can be sparkling or still water until we break that 16 hour fast. Then you guys get to break it with break fast. Oh man, I'm loving those little bagels I made. Now when I took them out of the oven um, the other day, I uh, they were a little bit hard, but putting them in the refrigerator just makes them nice and soft again, doesn't it Harry? Yep. And I wrap them in paper towels. I layer it so that you guys um, get that layering and it takes the moisture off of them. But these are really, really good. Man, are they good. Um, want to remind everybody that everything that you eat or drink, any over-the-counter medication, any allergies, um, inflammation, lack of sleep, can have an effect on your weight loss or water retention. For some reason, yesterday, whatever I did at work, my hands were bothering me last night. I was having issues with my hands. This morning, they're better. I used Arnica all over. And you guys, this scar looks purple. I've got a uh, Mederma on it, and it's actually got a purple color to it because it's got a sunscreen in it. Um, it's so hot here, and you can feel the sun beating down on your arms when I'm walking that I put that on. So it looks a little worse than it is, but it's healing very nicely. So don't don't think it's a big gaping wound still because it's, it's healing. So anyway, you guys, with that, everything that we had to eat yesterday was perfectly keto. It was also a Protein sparing modified fast and what that means is you're 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 having a modified fast You're having just enough protein in your meal so that you are sparing the lean protein and the muscles on your body We're not cannibalizing our body. We are using the food that we're in ingesting so we're having a high protein 30 grams of fat or less 10 grams of carbs or less if you can if you can keep it under the 30 fat 30 carbs or as close to it as you can get then your protein you're going to do great on the protein sparing modified fast days i had four ounces of pork loin i had two uh, egg white bagels i had egg white chocolate pudding and that's the maria uh, emmerich recipe straight from her book. I had six ounces chicken for dinner. I put two, tea, two tablespoons of my keto chow beef gravy on my chicken. We had the pina colada keto chow ice cream. Remember, keto chow is a meal replacement. I say ice cream and it sounds like woo. It's a meal replacement that we've frozen, but we call it ice cream because it is. It turns into ice cream. It's wonderful, it's delicious, and man, Pino colada is one of my favorite flavors now. It's gone up to the top. This was so good. I put a couple of Cabela pineapple drops in it just to give it a more pineapple-y flavor. And man, it was good. Mom loved it. She came over last night. She was like, ooh, this is really good ice cream. I had a scoop of collagen at work. I had three. That's a three. I know. Smudge, smudge mark. Three tablespoons key to creamer. Now, I had six grams of carbs for a total of 12 grams. I had 34% fat for a total of 29 grams. I had 60% protein for a total of 116 grams. Total calorie, 921. I went over it by two grams on my carbs, but you know what? I'm not worried about it. 
Nine ounces of chicken Harry had for breakfast, two egg white bagels. He had egg white chocolate pudding as well. Eight ounces of chicken for dinner with two tablespoons keto chow. Oh, I have beef gravy. Did We had the white gravy instead. Put the wrong color gravy. We had both out, couldn't decide, but keto chow gravy. Pina colada keto chow ice cream. Collagen, three tablespoons keto creamer. He had a total of 7% carbs for a total of 12 grams. His fat was extremely low. All he had was boneless, skinless chicken breast yesterday. I had that pork loin which had more fat on it. 76% protein for a total of 133. Look Harry, you had exactly your lean mass. Yep. I almost had my lean mass in protein. Total calories, 838. Now, I was watching uh, Maria and Craig Emmerich's um, show from Sunday that they did and he was talking about their macro calculator. If your protein goes up uh, on that calculator, you know, you may, you can modify that. As long as you're eating your lean body mass weight in grams of protein, such as my lean body mass weight is 120 pounds. So if I get 120 grams of protein in um, for that protein sparing modified fast day, uh, that's perfect. You know, it shows that I should have um, 166, and Harry should have 169. But they, there's a little formula above the formula that talks about, you know, if you're a really tall person um, or if the proteins are too much, at least eat your lean body mass weight in protein. So just wanted to share that, you guys. Just wanted to share that. So, how much do we weigh today? Well, Wendy's body's playing its old trick. I went down two tenths. Harry went down two tenths. The minute we stop eating out, and I don't care where it is that we eat, when we start eating foods at home, our weight goes down. And we can do the exact same thing when we are um, at restaurants, but our weight tends to go up, and I know that's water weight. I really do. And I think that the meal we had on Sunday, I think they had canola oil or something that they cooked in because my hands started to bother me. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah. Yesterday was Monday. Yeah, you're right. Yesterday was Monday. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And the only thing we did different is we went out and we had, we went out to eat at Bobby Q's. Yeah, but I watched what I ate really closely. No, but I'm talking about my hands. Oh, I, I had that buffalo sauce. Yeah, they and I have a little bit it. of your ranch on my meat, and those all have canola oil and soy. I think I am very sensitive to that. I yeah. really, really do. Um, so anyway, let's go to the big board because I'm going to have to leave really quick. Let's go. How you doing there, Harry? I'm here. Hi. Right. Up oh, there you go. See the see the green. You're right. in the green again. Yeah, you Woo! can see how this creep is coming back in again. So am I. Yeah. Went down a pound yesterday, and then today I went down just two tenths, which is good. I went down, right? Yep. Um, you went down two tenths, which is good. Yeah. So we're both heading in the right direction now again. Yes, we are. Now we got these birthday things out of the way, but really that's about it because you got to go. Yes, I do, and this so is I'll heavy on my hands. Short. I'm going to cut it short. Okay, so baby. Let's go. Thank you. It's heavy on my hands. Anyway, you guys, um, I have got chicken wings defrosting. I made, we took Jamie's spatulator or meat masher that she gave us. And I took, I had some pork loin, I mean, I had some pork, ground pork. And I made a ground pork um, meal last night mm -hmm. and put it in containers. So we've got that. Harry's got the steak that's left over from when we went to Chalice and David's, so he's got to eat that. And I'll share everybody what I got when I get to work for lunch. Anyway, you guys, it's 634. I got to get out the door. <sighs> See everybody in the next segment. Got to go now. Bye. Hey guys, I'm at work and I've got two of my little bagels. I've got a Zevia. Uh, cherry cola and a creamy root beer. I've got some eggs, two packages, so four total. And I've got the rest of my pork loin that I in gravy that I did not finish yesterday. So I'm gonna eat those today. Got my electrolytes right here. 
And you guys, I'm gonna go put this all in the fridge and then I am gonna go downstairs and get a cup of black coffee to have today during my 16 hour fast. Yes, indeed. Oh, this coffee smells so good because they fresh grind it in the machine. We pour bags of whole beans, it fresh grinds it and gives you a fresh cup of coffee. So good, so delicious, yes indeed. Oh, you guys got my um, black coffee. You can have black tea. If you can find an herbal tea that does not have any carbs in it at all or sugars in it, you can have that as well, but it's harder to find because herbs are plant-based. And if they have anything that says artificial flavors, stay away from it when you're fasting. That's all I'm saying, that's all I'm saying. Anyway, you guys, I, I smeared Arnica on my hands last night like crazy. I tried not to take anything for it. I don't want to take a Tylenol. My hands feel a little bit better today, but the good news is, is I have my Arnica. Arnica gel is awesome. Pains, swellings, bruising, muscle aches, pains, and um, my hands. This works wonderful on them yes indeed and it's odorless because I'm scent sensitive so I love this stuff anyway you guys I just wanted to share that with everybody I will probably break my fast uh, let me see 10 o'clock anything after 10 I could break my fast so I will share with you guys but I've got my little bagels I've got them sitting out because I don't want them to be refrigerated I I complained. They're, they were so good yesterday. Kind of chewy with a cup of coffee. Yeah, I like them. They have a little bit of onion flavor and they've got that that uh, nutritional yeast that gives it a little flavor to it. I just, I like it. So anyway, you guys, I'll uh, see you guys in the next segment. Oh, we're supposed to have rain this afternoon. A monsoon's coming in, so I'm going to need to get my steps in early. Yes, indeed. Hey you guys, it is breakfast time and I am having one of my delicious bagels. Yes, indeed. I'm having it with a cup of coffee. I've got the rest of my black coffee right here, but then I'm gonna have a collagen one afterwards, so. Ah, it's delicious. Mmm, 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 mmm. That is so nice and delicious. I like them plain. Yes, I like cream cheese on them better, but with my coffee in the morning, that's awesome. I gotta learn how to make cinnamon rolls now. That'd be delicious too. Anyway, you guys, just wanted to share. I'm breaking my fast with a bagel and coffee. Yes, indeed. Oh my gosh. It is sweltering and it is humid because we are supposed to have another monsoon and the sky is positively white, whitish, weird. And that happens when we get the dust kicked up in the air here. It settles into the atmosphere and it just makes everything look weird. You know, that's what makes beautiful sunsets is the dust or pollution in the air. That's how you get the vibrant oranges and pinks and reds and all the good stuff you guys so it's funny it's like if you want a sunset you've got to have some dust in here that's all i'm saying anyway it's just funky out look at this harry said don't go out because there's like look at that look at that color i don't know if you guys can see it but it's just bleh. look it matches the fence that's that's what it looks like it's just totally Totally whitish, grayish weirdness and sweltering. It's like the heat is pressing down on you. You know, let me look out here and see the skyline. Oh, so I'm sitting here and I cannot even, I can't even tell there's mountains, South Mountain, from where I'm at. So that's, that's crazy because it's, the air right now is so pollution, polluted pollution advisory we have because it is just weird anyway 
We got the alert. We'll see if we have a monsoon. We'll see if we have an interesting sunset today because I'm telling you, Harry said stay out of the sun today, so I'm only doing just a teeny bit in the courtyard. It's super early, so my screen on my phone is kind of dirty, but sorry, look at the sky. Look, it just blends right in. Super crazy. Anyway, you guys, don't forget, take a walk today. Move your body. If you can't do it outside, do it inside. Anyway, you guys, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, you guys, I am walking the corridors. Yes, indeed because it is sweltering hot. Evidently there was like a solar flare or something we're supposed to have something going on. So we're probably gonna have severe weather later tonight, but I'm gonna get my walking in today. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Walking, walking, lots of walking. Got my little walking of the day. Anyway, you guys got to go in that door at the end, so I will see everybody later. So, if you don't know what this is, this is what's called a 3D printer. You just about make anything with this. You just got to have the ability to do uh, some 3D graphics and you know do a little uh, do a little uh, you know drafting stuff like that. Be able to make any parts you basically want. So what I'm making here is a camera part that I designed. You know what I need. Nobody makes them, so I thought I better. Guess I'm gonna have to make it myself. Anyways, other than that, it's time to eat. Lunch time, how's everybody doing? I, I'm hungry right now, actually. And Wendy came along with some, a really good idea, and I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Two of these. Now, what are these? These are, I'm gonna take two of these bagels, and I'm gonna cut them in half, and then I'm gonna put what she said to put on them. Sounds really cool. So, what is this going to involve, you ask? Well, it's going to involve about four ounces of the ground beef, some of this buffalo sauce, cashew butter, and avocado oil it's made out of. No dairy. Of course, the two bagels. <laughs> Yeah. What? 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 I can't hear you. A plate. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these bagels in half. Can you hear the printer going over there? Sorry. I'm going to heat some of this in the microwave. I'm not going to put it on here and heat it. I'm going to heat it alone. I'm afraid it might make them a little bit too mushy. So it probably will with the meat, but the meat does the meat is basically, you know, pretty dry. There's not a whole lot in there. I only need like four ounces. And I'm going to heat it up separately, and then I'm going to put some of uh, this on it. Sounds good, huh? This stuff's really good too. I really like it. So I'm going to get four ounces of this. So I'll throw this in the microwave for about 45 seconds and kind of warm it up a little bit. There it goes. Oh yeah. Ha. My fave.
this here. I'm going to put this on top of each one of these like this. Remember, it's just four. Remember, it's just four ounces, so it's not like a gigantic meal, you know. And then, can't forget about this, right? Got to put this on. Yeah, this stuff's good. If you're interested. Yep, there she is. All ready to go. And guess what I'm going to have with it? No. Root beer! Yeah. You know it. Got out my root beer. All right. That's about it. I'm going to go eat. Hope you guys can have as good lunch as I'm having. Oh man, does this smell good. And it's almost kind of like a sloppy joe, you know? Hey you guys, I have four ounces of hamburger meat. I've got it on an open-faced bagel of mine that I split in half. I put mustard on it and this has just about a tablespoon of the Primal Kitchen Buffalo sauce that I have. But let's see what this tastes like, you guys. I'm excited about this. Like kind of a sloppy joe. And I'm going to give it a taste test. Now, I did not heat the bagel. I sliced it, but I heated the meat and put it on the bagel because I don't want to change the texture. I'm worried if I heat it in a microwave, it'll change the texture. And I don't have a toaster. So, let's give it a taste test. Look at that. Mmm. 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 -hmm. You guys know what that means. gotta eat now okay you guys i am home from work harry has got his 3d printer done and he's making a cute little dog you guys i'm so excited look at this little doggy can you go sideways on it try to make meringue cookies Wendy's way. So I have the oven preheating at 200 degrees. I've got four egg whites in here and I'm going to turn this on. Now I want to let this whip until I get full on stiff cake. You should have an eighth of a teaspoon of cream tartar per egg white in your mix. So I've got a half a teaspoon, so that would be four times one eighth. Doing the math. I have a half a cup of swerve. I don't know. I'll turn it down. It's going to blow it out. to get liquid into the egg whites without breaking down the egg whites. This is lemon meringue pie. I'm going to put a little bit of sugar cookie 
cookie in it for good measure. I'm going to put a little bit of lemon. This is a uh, glycerin food coloring. See if I can get it to whip some more or if it's ruined because I put the liquid in it. Well, I don't know if I ruined the batter because it looks like it's not stiff peaking. So I may have put too much liquid. mustache dear got it all over your mustache hey you guys I think this is it's good I think it's ruined I am gonna cook it yeah really why not give it a try I think I put too much well, we'll see It is not stiff. It's my bad, it's not stiff. Nope. Whoops, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Tastes good though. It is so good. Sugar cookie and lemon meringue, mm-hmm. Good, but we'll see you guys, we'll see. I put the stuff in too soon, I think, and it broke it down. So these are going to be flat cookies. But I'll tell you, whatever whatever cooks, it's going to taste delicious because this tastes delicious. Want to taste? One more taste? Yeah. Mmm. It's really good. That really tastes good. It's really good. Yeah, they're very big of a pipe. I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's see what we can do here, you guys. Oops. Coming out already. Holy crud. Yeah, these are not meringues. Don't laugh at me, Karen. Anybody who's Susie Baker's man? You guys, I am never said I was a pastry chef. I just got a recipe in my head and decided to go with it. That's all. No, it's learning the mixture system for this stuff. No, it's getting your egg whites right. If you don't get your egg whites right, you, nothing else works. Well, what I'm going to do is put this in. I'm going to put this just like right there just for a minute. Let me get these in. Okay, 
Let them cook for one hour. Okay. We'll make meringue bark. A, a meringue cookie something. This is called playing with your food, I think. I'll just make a, a little bar, a meringue bar, right? Mm hmm. A big meringue bar. Hey guys, I've got to figure out a place to put this. I've got two racks. Will this fit right in there? Like right there. Yeah, okay, well, let's see what happens. Don't okay, you guys. Let's see what happens. Did you, did you tape inside to see? I tried, yeah. Okay. Anyway, you guys, it tastes good, but it definitely did not form stiff peaks once I put all the other ingredients in it. It's an experiment in progress. Tell me what it went wrong. We'll be back if and when it's cookies. Yes, indeed. My cookies are an epic fail. Look, they're flat as pancakes. The air's all gone out of them, but you know what? I'm gonna leave them on there because sometimes failures turn into successes. Right? I know. Well, Silly Putty was a failure to the experiment they were trying and it created a multi-million dollar toy called Silly Putty. So these could be meringue crisps because they kind of look like cheese crisps that have melted all over everything. But I'm gonna leave them in the oven and we're gonna taste test them. Whatever happens, unless they disintegrate in its water by the time they're done. So we've decided we're having a uh, macchiato, caramel macchiato keto chow made into ice cream for dinner. So this is it. Uh, I just put my caramel macchiato in there. Got a little bit of oil in there and I just like to blend it. Mom's coming over, so I've got three portions in there. Yes, indeed. And we're gonna go from there, you guys. Don't do this at home, but I like doing it like that. So, got my ice cream maker and everything else, you guys. And I will share the cookies, what it looks like when they're done. Yes, indeed, but I can tell already they're just, they're just flat. We got 43 minutes to go. They could turn to dust mm -hmm. and disintegrate, or they could be a pool of polywog water in the middle. But you know what? If you guys don't try and fail, you're never going to learn how to whip the egg rights correctly and everything. So I'm game. I'm going to try this again, you guys. I left the recipe at work by mistake, so I was going off what I remembered in my head. And I think that using all that liquid flavorings and extracts and stuff broke the uh, stiffness of it because it was more whipped. So I think that's what the issue no is. No water, you can't have anything wet in there. Well, they, I know. So I'm gonna do it again, but I think, I think my meringue cookies are an epic fail. They're gonna be flat little waferlets, maybe. We'll see, but I know my coffee my caramel macchiato ice cream is going to be delicious. So let's come back. When I get the cookies out, I'll share. It's an epic fail. Oh my gosh, you guys. Ooh. These aren't meringue. They're, 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 they're dried foam on a mat. Yes, indeed, you guys. Oh, I'm telling you for something that has three or four ingredients, Meringue has been, look at this, they died. Wow, look at that. Those are my meringue. <laughs> I don't know, Oops. I don't think so. I don't think there's no pulling it off. Literally, they turn to foam. Look, even this, this, this is liquid foam. Liquid foam!
What is? Epic fail. Wow, man. <laughs> Those are not meringue. Those are fuzzy wuzzies on a mat. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what? They, the, the, it smells delicious. Can I even get any of this off? Oh no, Harry. Hmm. Foam. Ooh. Move slower. Well, you guys, these crumbs are delicious. Ooh. <laughs> they are. You know, if you like crumbs, here, Harry. Taste. You know, those are good. Those are good. <laughs> they are. Too bad they didn't lift like a chip. If they lifted like a chip, I'd got I would have something. Oh yeah. Now, if I can repeat this and keep the foams, the meringue stiff. These would be my oh, cookies. Oh, those are really good. And if I had something to crumble this, put on, on top of, those are really good. Anyway, you guys, epic fail. You know what that means? I'm trying again tomorrow. I am going to conquer the meringue. Yes, indeed I am. But this is all I've got for tonight, you guys. Don't forget, tomorrow, it's a protein sparing modified fast day. Move your body. And you guys, it's too bad because these would have been absolutely spectacular cookies. Yeah, they would have. They really would have been. And if they were just a little bit fatter, they'd still be good. Well, at least this stuff's kind of come out. You need it on like a flat surface. Yeah, right? if these were just a little bit fatter, these would be good cookies. Yeah. Epic fail on my mm -hmm. cookies, but tomorrow I'm going to nail it. So you guys stay tuned for tomorrow. Anyway, you guys, if you like what you see, please remember to like, subscribe, ring the little bell. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you right here in my kitchen making meringues that look like meringues, taste like meringues, and are meringue cookies. Yes, indeed. Good night, everyone. Actually, these are pretty good. Oh, there you go. There you go, Harry. <laughs>